video is brought to you by G2Way.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to another episode of the 2025 Career Mode Series. And today, we are going to be looking at not necessarily one of the up and coming players in the world of football, but definitely a very, very highly rated striker, sort of having an on off season this year, but it is Diego Costa. So here we go with this man. We were eventually going to do it with Diego Costa, and there's been mixed reactions to his arrival into the Premier League. Shall we just say that? If you're a Chelsea fan, arguably, you probably love him to bits. Diego, Diego, he'd be fantastic for you. And he has been for the majority of the last two seasons. However, his antics, his behavior, and his slightly dirty tactics on field have not really got him into any soft spot of any Premier League fan apart from a Chelsea fan. But regardless of what you think of his demeanor, he's definitely a guy that can pop up and score important goals and can score a bunch of goals if he's up to it. But either way, we're going to take a look at Diego Costa and we're going to see how he goes about it in 2025, how he grows and how he maintains. Let's take a look. So here is Diego Costa stats. 85 overall, as you can tell, he does have an 86 potential, so we can get a little bit better. He is around 26 years of age, not exactly at his peak just yet, but still, he's got decent pace, up around mid-70s, st great stamina and strength, which is superb. Ball control, dribbling's good. Finishing in the 90s for an 85 overall, that's, an, that's sensational to see. Shot power's there, volleys are there. Apart from that, doesn't really have an awful lot of amazing stats for an 85 overall, but still, six foot two, got the height about him as well, and of course, at only 26 years of age, so we can be, uh, he does have room to grow, certainly. The strength speciality is there, no trades, but again, like I say, the potential of 86. So we can get that little bit better. But that is what we're here to see. Can Diego Costa get better than his 86 potential? Only time will tell, and the time is right now. Can he get to it? Can he get a little bit better? Let's take a look. In his first season, he's already been able to hit that potential, and take a look at this. We've got ball control and dribbling now up in the around mid-80s, you could say that, crossing in a few other stats here and there that are going up, but again, same scenario as a couple of other plays before. You see he's finishing up to 91. There are some stats that, are being, that aren't being indicated that are definitely going up. So there you go. He's up to 86 just because I hadn't mentioned it before, but look at his mental attributes. He has some brilliant aggression and attack and positioning, but either way, the second season, he sees him go up by another overall up to 87. So he's now surpassed that sensational, or maybe not sensational, but that potential that he had of only 86, he's now smashed it within two seasons. He's up to 87 at 28 years of age, and he's still got a little bit of room to grow. I reckon he could get close. Maybe not to 90, but he could get close. Either way, we see more stats, ball control, dribbling, and then volleys, crossing, and again, so many other stats that have have gone up which aren't being indicated but 87 but now for the third and final season before we go all the way to 2025 he's had a good first two seasons going up by one in his overall each time has he been able to do it in his third you betcha he has he's 88 overall he's in good form his morale unfortunately says he's homesick and um i don't really know what you mean by that diego does that mean you want to go back to brazil or are you spanish now i don't even know what okay i'll leave homesick to your interpretation but anyway mate whether it be brazil or spain but look he's definitely got still some stats that are going up again whether they be indicated or not he's going up and he's looking at an 88 striker right now at 29 years of age that is absolutely stunning but now it's time to find out if he can get any better than that and if he can can he maintain that sort of an overall and that sort of level when he's about 36 37 years of age but the time to find that out is right now let's go so here we are, 2025 with Diego Costa, one of the best strikers in the Premier League, regardless of what you think about him. Has he been able to maintain that very high overall in his late 30s? Let's find out what his rating is in 2025. He's a 33 overall, or an 83 overall, should I say, not 33. He's dropped off by three. There's so many threes right now. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, he's dropped off by three in this last season, which means, obviously, he started at 86 at the start of this season, which was, by the way, the overall that he... Uh, it was actually higher than the overall that he started at when we did this. He was 85 at the start. He was 86 before the, uh, before the start of this season as well. It was absolutely crazy, but he's dropped off by a bit. Could even say he's dropped off by a little bit more than a bit, but still, you can see that pace, those physical attributes, really dropping down, the skill attributes, the technical attributes. I mean, he's definitely been going very well right up until this point, but sadly, he's really starting to drop off in quite a big way. Now, only 83 at that sort of an age. I'll probably leave it up to you guys whether or not you think this is a good or a bad sort of, a, sort of an overall for a player of his age. We've definitely seen some players that are a bit older maintain their overalls and not even drop at all at that sort of an age at 36, 37. But still, that is Diego Costa. Thank you so much for watching another 2025 video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, leave in the, in the comments down below any suggestions that you may have. And until next time, my name's Masterbucks, and have a good one. Bye-bye.